we always remember for a reason. We want to do something with this memory. If we have a memory that there's nothing that comes out of it, we prefer just to clear out some space on the disk and erase the memory and continue on. This week's parasha, Parashat Kitetse, has a few commandments to remember. A few of them have an outcome for it. For example, at the end of the parasha, the Torah commands us to remember what the Amaleki nation did for us on the way out of Egypt. And the reason to remember it is that when we have a nation, or we, when we have an army, we can fight back against the Amaleki nation and make sure it will not happen again. So we need to remember, and there is a reason why to remember. The same, the Torah commands us to look after the, the poor people and the weak people in society. When someone harvests his field, so he needs to leave some of the uh, fruit or, or grains for the poor people. And the Pasuk says, You shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt. Al Ken, this is why Hashem says, I command you to do this thing. Remember you a slave, you were a slave. Remember how it is to feel like a slave, like a poor person who has nothing. And therefore, think also about the people who have nothing. But then, we have a commandment of just to remember, without any reasoning. The Pasuk says, Zachor et asher hasa Hashem elokecha lemeryam. Remember what Hashem did to Miriam on the way when you were going out of Egypt. That's it. The Pasuk doesn't remind us what happened, and the Pasuk doesn't tell us why we shall remember what happened. What happened was, with Miriam on the way out of Egypt, she spoke badly about Moshe Rabbeinu, her brother. We won't go into it now why, and she had the good intentions, but she spoke badly on her brother, Lashon Hara. And Hashem punished her. For a few days she was with Sarah. For a few moments she was with Sarat and stayed out of the camp until she became better. And we shall remember this. Remember how bad Lashon Hara is. How much talking about other people can be bad. But then why does the Torah just tell us, remember what happened, without telling us um, um, why did it happen? It's true, the Pasuk comes next to another Pasuk talking about Sarat, the same punishment that Miriam had. But why not to tell us, this is the Sarat, this is the punishment, and it happens because people t talk bad about other people. The Chafetz Chaim, Rabbi Israel HaKoyen Miradin, who also wrote the Mishnah Bora, is known mainly for the book Chafetz Chaim. He wrote a book about Lashon Hara. And he was asked, well... Most people, maybe almost all people, talk Lashon Hara somewhere there in their life. It's very hard to, to not to, to always speak positively about other people. And he was asked, why didn't you write a book about uh, Lashon Hara? Why to write the Chafetz Chaim? People won't keep it in any case. And he said, as long as they have this idea in mind, it will be better. Maybe it's hard to control every every word we say. But in the back of our head, we have in mind this idea of Lashon Hara isn't good. It might not have a, an action right now, in this moment, but it generally will uplift our life and cause us to speak in more of a positive way. So this idea doesn't, you can't take it into action every moment. It should still remind, remain in our, in our mind. Although right now there's no outcome of it. Later, in a day, two days, five days, this idea of Lashon Hara is ba bad and speaking positive, positively is great. In the end, this will have an effect on us. That's why the Torah here says, just to remember, you know, it's hard for you. You think it's too hard not to speak Lashon Hara? Fine. Just remember, afterwards, things will become better. May we always have this in mind of how great positively words, positive words can do. And this idea in mind will come out into great words that come out of our mouth. Shabbat Shalom.